Hi there, it's Umesh Damani here once again. And on today's video, I want to tell you about three ways to overcome the fear of failure. Now, following on from a recent video I did, I thought I'd add a few more tips on um, how to overcome your fear of failure because do you know what? The fear of failure is the biggest fear holding people back from achieving their true potential. Now, when this happens, it forces many people just to back off or opt out or just play and avoid situations, but playing it safe has risks as well. If you never dare to fail and learn, your success will have a much lower ceiling. You see, most people underestimate their inner strengths and abilities to recover from failure, and this leads them to pass up loads of valuable opportunities. So I'm hoping that the following quick tips will help to give you I guess a different perspective so that you can overcome your fear of failure. Number one, consider the cost of missed opportunities, okay? So consider the benefits that you lose by avoiding high risk, high reward opportunities. And that's in all aspects of your life. You see, your journey as an entrepreneur contains a wide range of opportunities, some risky, some safe. And that uh, they combine to form a journey which has a high potential for growth. The issue, however, is that without taking risks, you can't exploit any opportunities that might come your way. So let me ask you, would you be able to create something new or amazing if your life was quiet and reasonably happy and you didn't push yourself to take a couple of more risks? How many regrets would you have because you didn't reach out and grasp those opportunities? Think about it. Number two, put that worst case scenario into perspective, okay? If you chase your goals, your desires and your dreams and they don't work out the way you'd hoped, worst case scenario, how long would it really take you to recover? I mean, really? The answer is actually probably a lot less than you expect. It's only as long as you choose to entertain unhelpful thoughts about it. That's all it comes down to in the end. So how, you know, how hard would it really be to find another job? How hard would it be to really create a new sales page or a new opt-in page or tweak it a little bit or even cut, go on a new date with someone? Well, only as hard as you choose to make it. So ask yourself a question. Is the fear of a few rough days or weeks or even just a few short months strong enough to keep you in your mediocre situation indefinitely? Number three, take action. The best way to reduce your fear is to grow as a person and build confidence. And the way to do that is to take action. Don't ever limit yourself by inaction. As soon as you take action, you begin to accumulate experience and knowledge. So whatever you apply yourself to is always hard to begin with. You know, your first few driving lessons, your first day in a new job, learning how to bake, say for example, or your first gym session, it's all the same. It always is hard to begin with. But after you do it once or even a few times, you see that yeah, it's okay. And each time afterwards, it just gets easier and easier and easier. So start off small with tiny little small steps and build your confidence until that fear of failure is so manageable or it's so tiny that it hardly crosses your mind. So take action and try a couple of these things and let me know how you get on. There are four more tips in my blog post to go along with these three, um, and the link for it is in the description box, box below. So have a look at them, see what you think. And now, before I wrap up, I wanna ask you a couple of quick favors. If you haven't had it already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. The subscription uh, button is below, and that way you'll get to hear about all my videos that I'm creating. And then hit the like and share buttons, and let's share this amongst all, all the people who might be interested in it. And then, also, if you've got anything to add, just pop your comments in the comments box below and I'd love to hear your thoughts. And finally, if you're liking some of the stuff I'm talking about in, in the context of mindset, then I've got a special gift for you. It's a mind conditioning track, which is free as my gift to you. And the link to it is in the description box below again. And all I need from you is your best email address so I know where to send it. I think that's pretty much it for today and I'll see you on the next video. Until then, have a great day and see you soon.